This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Jeep Wrangler. It is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler. It is a 3.6 liter V6 four wheel drive. It's a Sahara edition, um, has a hard top. It is an automatic. It was a uh, new car dealer trade into the O'Reilly Chevrolet new car dealer uh, group here in Tucson. Um, it has a, uh, a lift with 35 inch tires, including a spare. Uh, that's 35 and uh, beautiful rig um, we purchased it from them we brought it here we do an inspection my guys hand me this uh, runs and drives great good uh, cool looking uh, all we did was a detail it needed nothing probably didn't even need a detail but we did anyway um, well I'll walk around I'll point at stuff I see cosmetically it's a pretty cool looking Jeep but it's not perfect um, you know, like you could get a black uh, Sharpie out and fix their curb check right there. Things like that, but uh, they did a nice job with the lift. Uh, for big tires, um, it runs and drives pretty good. I, t I drove this thing down I-10 uh, yesterday at about 80 and uh, ran pretty good. Now, you know, like it's not much fun driving short wheelbase uh, Jeeps, even if they're brand new down the interstate at 80 but uh this one was okay did fine uh, my job in these videos is not to tell you how great this jeep is it's to make sure that you know um everything that's wrong uh more so than what's right okay um the only way to do that is to be brutally honest so we are um anyway i'm gonna walk around it when i see stuff there's some little rock chips here Nothing major. Um, I'm not sure, they must have had something taped to this thing. You know, obviously that's also black Sharpie or touch-up paint. You could fill those in with, if you wanted to. Um, they probably had it in their garage. A lot of times people take the hard tops off, completely off. They have them in their garage and they get dinged up from sitting around in the garage. So, a black Sharpie or some touch-up paint and that all goes away. Um, but we like to show people what things look like when we got them. Obviously, you have a very high rubber uh, spare, brand new spare, Terra Grappler. Those are expensive. Those are three or four hundred bucks a piece of tire. So it's got about probably mounted and everything with wheels. Twenty five hundred dollars for the wheels and tires. Anyway, to get this open, you go like this, go like this, swing this over here, open that, swing that up. This is a this is a deal that holds all the roof panels. Or actually the two roof panels up front all right we do have some uh little mat back here right not sure if there's anything else in here that we need to know about a little, a little uh cubby hole there got an outlet here got an alpine sub that's factory right Got a seriously heavy duty tire rack. Nice little tie offs for chains on there. Boom, boom. Aftermarket rear bumper. Those are expensive. Could use a little touch up here. A little more curb checkage. My son's doing that to his, uh, the new Civic SI. I just got him. It's killing me. Stay off the curb. 94,230 miles. like there by the way I'm looking through the camera and all this is flickering if you see flickering it's really solid to your to the human eye it's solid for some reason the camera on Jeeps and on some Chevy's makes the makes it flicker and people think there's something wrong with the cluster it's solid it's just I don't know I don't know what that's all about uh, let's see first thing we want to show you is the Kelly Blue Book for this uh, Sahara Wrangler 14 with 94,213 miles. Typical listing price would be 22,137 with a range of 19,741 to 23,695. Um, obviously this has got a pretty expensive lift and very expensive tires on it. So that would probably be on the upper range of that. Um, we do have the, uh, the uh, actual window sticker that was on it. 
They sold, the, the, the factory gave it to the dealer at 33.6. I know, because I've been there. They mark them up between five and 10%. So they sold this thing somewhere between 36,000 and $39,000 back in the day. But uh, those are all the, uh, all the uh, options there. I suppose you could freeze this video if you wanted to. And look at all this stuff. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Okay. And here's the Carfax. History of events affecting this vehicle's value. They blend the uh, Carfax and the Kelly, and they come up with a retail value of 24510 Again, that's without the cool lift, the bumper, the five expensive wheels and tires. They don't know that at Carfax. We do. All right. Very important. Uh, no major title problems. That's obviously matters. Let's see. First page. Born in Florida. It's in Florida 2015. Still in Florida. Ding, 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 ding. There's a nice service right here at 67906 Oil filter, differential service, transfer case service, blah, blah, blah. That was a good one. Headlights replaced at 76990 at the dealer. Then it moved to Arizona in uh, 2019. Ba, ba, ba. And let's see. And it's at O'Reilly Chevrolet. And we bought it from them. Okay? So that's that. Let me see if I can get the hood open here. Do the old one-handed hood opening here. Boom. Boom. I have to use two hands for this one. There you go. All right, since I only got one hand, I'll use my hand as the hood prop, which is right in front of me, but no real need for that. Here's your sticker up there. I'll tell you the hood's original, right? Which is very important. There's your Mopar stamp on the fender, Mopar stamp on the other fender, so you know everything up here is original. Nothing's crashed or replaced, okay? All right. Hook that back up, that back up. Let's see, door locks. Oh, you gotta be in the car, they won't let you do that without them. All right, there's your window. That's the window switch right here. There's the other window. See how these pieces come out? You can take one or both pieces out of the roof. That's what that case was for back there. There's a manual here in the glove box. Um, in the center console, you have a power plug, and there's also, right here where my finger is, there's a USB jack, okay? Look at the seats are in unbelievable condition. This guy took good care of this thing. All right, let's see, what else? La, 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 I think that's it there. Really good looking rig. All right, let's take this. Let me get this thing forward here. All right. It's hard to do the seats one-handed here, but I will. All right. Tilt wheel. Okay. What else we got? Those are the headlights. Windshield wipers. Let me hop in this guy here. We have a shipper taking that uh, Escalade out of here. He's crazy. I have no idea how he thinks he's fit nothing on that truck, but that's what insurance is for. <laughs> anyway, let me get a seatbelt on here. Uh, all right, here we go. Seatbelt on. Radio. Let's see. Supporting the ministry gear and. Oh, there it is. Seek. Make sure you uh, walk up and ask to take a picture. Because, uh, you know, Sophia uh, is uh, beautiful. It'll uh, only there. make the picture better. Then, All right. Uh, so radio works fine. Air conditioning. Turn it down. Hit the AC button. Put it on auto. The AC is already blowing cold. Nice. Let's see. Let turn that down a little bit. There. Now it's blowing colder. It's about 60 degrees outside, so you gotta make sure. There you go. 
definitely working fine. Turn that off. Let's see what the heater does. Oh, that's really warm. That is uncomfortably warm. I'm going to go back to AC. Uh, let's see. Turn that down so you can hear me. There's a cruise control on and off. Menu. Let's see. Boom. I'm just doing this. Let's see. Menu. Oh, here we go. Digital speedometer. Menu. Reset. Empty. Tire monitors. That's nice that it has them. Let's see. Timer. Vehicle info. Limits. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me put it into neutral. Let me go all the way back to four low. Now I'm in four low. Traction control goes off in four low. Now I'm in four low. That's drive. And reverse in four low. Okay. That's perfect. All right. Neutral. I'm going to go back to four high. Traction control comes back on. Now we're in four wheel drive high. Drive. And reverse in four high. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go back to neutral and we're gonna go all the way up. Now we're in two wheel drive. Let's go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this Jeep home, you will pay taxes and a dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city tax of 2.7. So it's your state tax. Look at this thing. That is a crazy mess right there. Good luck with that. Uh, your tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Okay, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file and mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you will have the uh, Jeep shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox long before uh, the vehicle shows up by shipper, probably several days it'll be by. So when the Jeep shows up on your shipping truck, um, you'll just take the title you have and go get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I'd be happy to help you. I can do that for you. Um, I can do it all for you. Uh, or I can just give you phone numbers to call and do it yourself, or you can do it yourself. But let us know early so you can get your Jeep fast, okay? Um, if you need help. Deposits $500, once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, we do, we do not have a deal. We are not trying to make a pound of money on these vehicles. Uh, they catch people's eyes because the prices are low, okay? They're low because we don't have the bills that the big guys have to pay, all right? Which brings us to the last point. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes and sandwiches in the lounge. Uh, we don't have a, a prestigious location. You just saw the razor wire and the industrial area we came from. Uh, that saves you money. No salesman, none of the fluff, none of the location saves you money, okay? Uh, we don't have to charge what they do at the new at the auto mall for every, for every car, car. So, at the auto mall, they also know that if something breaks in this Jeep, uh, you're gonna bring it back and say, God, I paid a fortune for this thing. Can I at least have window motors that work? right and they're gonna fix them because they charge you five to seven hundred dollars for future repairs also when you buy there uh, along with the lattes and the salesman and all that crap um, so sure they can afford to fix it because they did make a fortune all right so uh, we're not fixing your vehicle because we're not charging you a fortune we're giving you all the good and all the bad that we know about the vehicle uh, we're giving you the video the photos the Carfax the Kelly so you can make a good decision and be the owner on day one, and you will be the owner on day one. We are not writing checks for anything. I don't care if it's a lighter that doesn't work, the radio decides not to tune to your favorite station, an injector decides to not play game, play with you that day, and you know decides today's the day it's gonna take a crap. Right now, this thing's beautiful, but we're not Nostradamus. Every single car we pass every single day is going to break eventually. And sometimes they break when they're brand new. I've seen Porsches with zero miles on them worth 150 grand come off a shipping truck with a rod knock. So I am not Nostradamus. I have no idea uh, when things are gonna happen that are bad, okay? So just know that. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna try to snake in behind this guy and then I'm gonna videotape this, this guy doing the shipping because I have a feeling we're gonna have a great YouTube video here in a minute. 
when he uh, drops the Escalade on its side. My customer's made a really good buy and it's already insured. So they're probably gonna make five grand when it falls off the truck. <laughs> and they'll probably be the happiest customers we ever had who never saw their vehicle in person. It's going to North Carolina. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna part this bad boy. Yeah, oh my God, he got it up there. Oh Lord, that is amazing. That is smoke and mirrors right there. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna find a nice safe. I'm gonna park it underneath the cover over here from next to my matrix because I'm already, I have my favorites go over here. I've got this 90, the 2003 Corvette with 25,000 miles. This little white Corvette, the badass. That goes under the cover. And this one goes under the cover. So, this one's made it into the reign of, ring of champions. So, anyway, uh, really nice Jeep, really nice Jeep. Now, remember, it, it's lifted and it's got huge wheels and tires on it. It does affect the way it drives, like, it, you know, when you have a short wheelbase and you do that with tires and you go away from factory, you'll always have floaty. They get floaty and the, and the power steering of this thing is excellent. So you've got to actually drive the car. You don't one hand this car down the interstate at 80 miles an hour or you'll get killed. Okay. Um, it's very tight, but it's also very sensitive. And uh, we just like people to know that. Uh, like I said, our job here in these videos and our ads is not to sell the car. This, we have plenty of people who want to buy from us. We just got to make sure it ends up in the right uh, person's hands. So anything we know, like I said, we're going to tell you. I think this is beautiful. Anyway, it's got 94,232 as of right now. Thank you.